practice prepper. The temperature in here is just a little over 40 degrees, uh, but this is in our, uh, our greenhouse here. I'm in the greenhouse and I am about to take a little hike out to uh, the end of the road out here. Uh, I didn't aim that camera very well, did I? I'm about to take a hike out to the uh, end of the road over here because uh, we got a delivery and uh, deliveries are not coming to the house uh, because of the uh, winter weather conditions. They're out over at the end of the, uh, the driveway here. The reason I'm doing this video uh, is for two reasons. One is because uh, it is uh, the end of the day, it's nighttime out, and uh, I'd really kind of like to be nice and cozy inside, but I know that UPS uh, dropped this delivery at the end of the road. I don't want to leave it out there in the snow all night. And if I'm going to do something awful, I want to, you know, share it, at least get credit for the uh, fact that I, uh, you know, I got to go through this. But there's another more uh, useful reason to you that I am uh, doing this video. And uh, that is uh, a lot of people are interested in the idea of kind of moving out to the country, moving out to the sticks, uh, you know, getting out away from the city. And uh, it's difficult right now. With COVID, uh, that's been kind of a popular thing. It used to be kind of crazy. And then it became very sane, uh, getting out, uh, you know, out of the uh, the mainstream a little bit, and uh, that makes it kind of difficult for people to, uh, you know, to do it because so many people are doing it. The price of rural property out here, the price of land has gone up a lot, and you know that's discouraging to a lot of people here in this community. I know, uh, you know, you, uh, you know, and other people have maybe had this dream for a while, and you've been working on it, and now suddenly the market's flooded with. You know, all these other people that are interested in the same thing. Uh, and what I want to talk about in this video, and we're going we're gonna to head out uh, right now. What I want to talk about in this video, it, oh wait, you know, there's another thing i got to add here. I'm going gonna, gonna to crotch the camera right here. Uh, need a headlamp. What we're going to talk about in this video is uh, why, you know, you should maybe have some hope that uh, the things are not necessarily going to be this way forever. Uh, there have been a lot of people that have been moving out here. I know that the temporary house that I uh, I bought when I was uh, building my current house, uh, which is right here. I'm not sure. Can you even make that out on the video or is it just too dark? You can kind of make it out there. This is the house that we just finished building. And uh, I know some people from the, from the big city uh, came and they bought the temporary house that I was living in while I was building this place. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people who have done that, and that has really drawn, uh, that has uh, driven up a lot of property values, and, um, uh, you, you know, that's been frustrating, like I was saying, to a lot of people. Uh, but, you know, while there are a lot of positives of moving out to the country, there are also uh, things that some people think of as being negative. And, you know, one of those things is what I'm doing right now. You know, if you live in the city, you get a delivery, it, you know, gets dropped right on your, your front step or, you know, if it gets brought into your building, and, you know, maybe like left in front of your door or whatever. I've never lived in a big city. I don't know the way that stuff all works. But, uh, you know, generally speaking, if you are living in a big city, you get a package delivered from UPS, you're not planning on having a, you know, uh, suit up in all your winter gear. And I, I've got crampons on my feet because this, uh, this road is so slippery. Uh, I'm walking on sheets of ice right now. Uh, you know, you're not having to do this kind of thing to, you know, grab your package that just, uh, just got delivered from UPS. And, you know, a lot of the people that have lived uh, that have lived in the city and have been used to that and have been used to the idea that, you know, they can go to a really nice restaurant that's just like a five-minute walk from their house or a ten-minute walk from their house, you know, and they get used to the, all these other conveniences. Once, uh, once they get, uh, you know, out here and they realize it, you know, there are some, uh, you know, there are some other issues. Uh, associated with being out in the uh, out in the country, there's the package right there. I'm anticipating that uh, you know some of the interest in living out here is going to kind of wane. So if you have been kind of frustrated with the fact that uh, you know maybe you had a plan for uh, getting land for yourself, and um, you know you've seen the the property values go up. And that's been, you know, it's been difficult for you. Uh, take a little bit of heart in the idea 
that, uh, you know, a lot of people that have moved out here are probably going to be here for a little bit. And in the same way that the property values have, uh, you know, really skyrocketed recently because, uh, you know, of all that demand, you know, once people maybe change their mind about living out here because of some of these downsides, uh, you know, there might very well be a, you know, a pretty good supply of, you know, houses and land in the future, you know, that was bought up by people that, you know, kind of had a sense that they wanted to get away from something. And, uh, and once they, uh, you know, made the jump, they found out that maybe the grass wasn't greener on the other side of the hill. That's always the danger whenever you are uh, trying to get away from something. When, for, for people that I talk about, uh, or for, uh, when I'm talking to people about the idea of moving out into the country, uh, I always advocate for the idea of what you're moving to, not what you're running away from. You know, a lot of people on prepping channels will oftentimes, uh, you know, accuse us of uh, you know, running away from the world. Uh, but, you know, I will always counter right away that, uh, you know, the idea of getting out here, getting out into nature, getting further away from the, uh, you know, the hustle and bustle of the world, it's not, it's not just about what you're, you're getting away from. It's also about what you are, are getting out to. I'm going to put that package down for a second. I am going to have to sanitize that when we go in. I'm not sure how necessary the sanitizing is at this point, but we, we're keeping up with it. We've been really 100% successful with uh, COVID, and we want to keep that up. You know, there's a lot of stuff that we are we have access to out here, and I'm going to see. Yeah, you can, you can actually pick it up right here. It's a very light-sensitive camera I'm shooting with here. That is, that's Orion right there. Right in the middle is Orion's belt, those three stars going up and down there. You know, that things like this are stuff that, you know, if you're living in an urban environment or a suburban environment with a lot of light pollution, you don't get to see this. I'm just gonna get a little bit of that horizon line in there too. So you can see just a little bit of that glow off the horizon. It's a really beautiful place out here. When you're moving out to a place like this, it's not, like I said, just about what you are getting away from. It's also what you are, are coming out to. And there's a lot of beauty out here, but a lot of people aren't trained to see that beauty. And uh, when people aren't trained to see that beauty, you know, it just, it's not going to uh, necessarily be an experiment that's gonna work out for them. This is our sanitizing box right here. We're gonna sanitize that. It's a little bit of a, a messy sanitizing process just because of the uh, you know, I'm holding a camera in my clean hand at the moment. Uh, we've got a bunch of UV lights in here and that'll uh, sanitize that right up. But yeah, if you've had the plan of moving out to the country and property values are getting you down, you know, there's a lot of rough stuff about living out here and I think there's a pretty good chance that a lot of people that have grabbed a lot of those houses are gonna, after a couple of years, be like, oh, you know, I kind of liked it when I could just walk down the street five minutes to an awesome restaurant. Or I liked it when UPS dropped my package right at my door instead of having to, you know, throw on winter clothes and crampons to walk down the road to get your package. So if you got those plans, don't lose heart, you know, keep, your, keep up your savings plan, keep looking, you know, and I think that we're gonna see more and more, uh, you know, offering and deals, uh, you know, as things go forward into the future and people kind of uh, get hit up with the reality of, you know, some of the things that, you know, are, you know, the realities of living out in the, uh, in the sticks. A lot, of, a lot of beauty out here, though, so I would highly recommend it. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.